Hello, and welcome back to Space Chem, Prelude to a Migraine, which is an ominous title for sure. Uh, looks like a relatively short mission, but probably going to have more sensing going on, so let's take a look. Joel stood with his back to the door, gazing out the window, onto a plush meadow of green grass. The plants waved as a gust of wind blew across the hill. The door clamped behind me, nipping my heels as I joined Joel in welcoming the blue sky and clouds. I can't believe I spent all that time on Danov. I almost forgot how nice the color green can be, he said. No sensor training. Is everything working? No problems. Everything is working as it should. And Joel stroked his beard and chuckled. After the ordeal with the mining robot last week, he was relieved to be on Alkanost, where something's probably going to go wrong. We all were. Uh, Marianne and I talked about the event in brief bits of conversation, never mentioning it around Joel. When Joel had sealed that helmet and stepped out the door, it was clear he wasn't merely improvising. I asked Marianne if that was included in her training. She gave me a withering glance, turned her back to me, and continued working. Joel winced, as if from the brightness of the light outside, and pinched the bridge of his nose. I need to sit down. He fell into the chair with a thump, dropping his head into his elbows on the top of his desk. Are you feeling okay? I asked. Yeah, just getting a migraine. He fumbled with a drawer and rummaged around inside until I heard the rattling of pills. We'll talk later. Alright, well at least it's not me with the migraine. Yeah, management having a migraine might mean less oversight, which might make my job easier. Who knows? Alright, straight into a mission. We get either oxygen or... Oxygen to uh, O2. And we just want individual atoms. Okay. Uh, so yeah, relatively simple, again. Start with an input... So there's two ways we could do this. You know what? I'm going to do a self-imposed challenge and not use sensor the sensor at all. Because why not? Grab. We'll do a drop here, and an output, and then we'll wait to sync. So does that work? I want one more sync. I might want one more sync in, in this whole thing. Which uh, can be done by just doing this. I think I want one more sync. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this one grab it if it's a molecule. Um, okay, maybe we'll switch these. So on first sync, where do we put this? Probably like this. So on first sync, No, we need this to be after. Okay. I've got this set up. So what's going to happen here is they're going to be lined up. Input. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab here. This is only going to grab something if there isn't a molecule. So if there's an individual atom, this will be a grab. We will then... If I do it up here, am I going to risk a collision? I might. Let's find out. Then I'm going to drop. Uh, no, I can't. I can't do it that way. Because I need to grab here in case we split off. This might work. 
let's uh, let's see if I've created something that'll work on my first try, or if I'm gonna have to troubleshoot it. Ah, uh, well, okay. First of all, why did I want two sinks? Now let's try. Alright, system works just fine if we get a double. Interesting, it's 20 instead of 10. Alright, and this time... Should just go through. Yeah, no problem. Okay, did not need sensor after all. You know, this is probably not the best idea to do this kind of a challenge, given that I'm probably supposed to be practicing with the sensor. But uh, I thought this was a neat solution, so I'm happy with how this worked out. Okay. Yeah, and this is interesting how this got condensed like this, so somebody must have taken a really long time with the solution at some point. Well, that was straightforward, relatively painless, no migraine yet. Random oxides. Alright, probably more sensor shenanigans. Uh, I will see you then.